guys, welcome back to the Sun region of Coniferia. Today, as you guys can see, we are still in the city of Pine Harbor. Uh, our baby has grown quite a bit in uh, recent episodes. And today we're gonna follow up on a few things before we start building. Um, so first up, thank you guys so much for participating in the votes uh, of the redevelopment for this lot in downtown. So if you're new to the channel, which I know many of you are, um, this city has a city council, which basically is composed of uh, you viewers and subscribers and lurkers and whatnot. Uh, so ever so often there will be votes on important decisions in the city. And we just recently finished up a vote for the redevelopment of this really central lot in downtown Pine Harbor. And the two proposals that we voted uh, for um, were also suggested by, by viewers. So it's really community driven and it's uh, one of the f my favorite aspects of running this channel, to be, to be quite honest. So yeah, as you guys can see on your screen, uh, the city council favored the theater slash arts complex uh, proposal. So uh, in due time, we'll start building that. Um, and uh, with that vote wrapped up, we already got another vote going on on the community channel right now. So as someone mentioned on a, on a couple of videos back, um, because I kind of alert to it, then city council is uh, trying to decide on the fate of this park. So a little backstory, there used to be some industrial buildings here, not the polluting sort, but just, you know, generic warehouses. But during the 70s, the city's industrial um, area saw quite a downturn, uh, stuff got outsourced. Uh, yeah, lots of, lots of factors played into that. And basically this uh, warehouse was abandoned. Now in the late 70s, the city managed to buy back this lot and demolish the building with some aid from some of that, uh, those good uh, federal dollars. So for about four decades now, it's uh, just been this really simple park, recreational area. So the question now, right now on my community page for the city council is, should we keep this as a park or do we attempt to sell it to potential investors? If we choose to sell it, then of course, we'll need proposals what to build here instead. And those proposals that will come from you guys. So yeah, after, let me stress that, after you watch this episode, <laughs> Head over to my community page and participate in the vote. Uh, you're also free to write a comment if you want, you know, to suggest uh, an entirely different solution for this park. Um, and of course, if you don't want to miss out on any votes or important decisions, make sure to enable notifications uh, after you've subscribed. Thank you. With that out of the way, um, today's episode is going to be focused on expanding the uh, rail network in uh, our wonderful region, um, which I'm really excited about. So the first things up is to actually create regional uh, train connections, uh, which uh, essentially is going to be the first form of public transport in the city. I've been asked a ton about a bus network and we're gonna do a really nice bus network, I promise. And I don't think it's gonna be long before we do it, but we're actually gonna start with some regional train. So my thought was that the first obvious connection we can make is we're gonna create a line that, um, that enter in downtown Pine Harbor to kind of serve the city. And the other stop is gonna be out here in Tagfield. Because Tagfield is like, it's the biggest town outside of Pine Harbor we have currently. We also have Danton over here, but as you guys might remember, it's more of a sleepy suburb, you know. There's a single commercial establishment here, which is a, a gas station. So, if I have time in this episode, I might even have a train station here as well. Uh, because, uh, as you guys can, can, can figure out, then... All these people, you know, they have to commute to either Pine Harbor or to Tagfield to work. Um, because in Danson, as you guys can see, more than 300 people live here, but there, is, there are four workplaces, right? And if we go into downtown Pine Harbor, we can see that we've got, you know, more than 800 workplaces. Or if you uh, work in the Amity Office Park, you know, there's almost 1,000 workplaces here. Um, and I actually wonder what it is for our industrial district. I think I should... Uh, let's let's just make this a district to take a look. So we'll... Uh, yeah, okay. 
I'll call it Fishing Harbor for now, but actually if you guys got some cool suggestions for the name of the Fishing Harbor and the Industrial Quarter, or maybe you would like to separate it, that's fine, and then give it different names, then uh, please feel free to comment. And if you got a bit of a backstory, then uh, feel free to use that, then we'll highlight it on the channel. But anyways, let's just let the game run a bit so we can calculate how... Okay, so we got nearly 700 workplaces down by the, the, the fishing harbor and the industrial area. So, yeah, people in Danson, they commute into the city to work. So we're getting some... We need some additional... We need some public transport here in the first place. Let's, let's just say that. But yeah, let's start with Tagfield because Tagfield, while it does have some workplaces, it also has nearly 1,000 people. Um, and it's it's more of an established town by now. Uh, it already has some, some highway connection, but we don't want people to be all, you know, as car dependent as they are now. So uh, let's compare some stats before and after. I don't know how much of a difference to traffic it's going to make to just start with one. Um, inter-regional uh, rail line but we'll see traffic flow right now is 84 percent which i guess isn't fantastic i don't actually know you guys know i'm a complete noob at the management parts but it's something we're gonna focus on a little more uh, not the deficit though uh, this is completely unsalvageable anyways yeah let's get going let's build a uh, train station here and connect it up to pine harbor and see uh, see how that looks um it's gonna be, a, I'm, I'm thinking of a relatively modern station. Um, so we can imagine that there used to be an older station perhaps, but for now it's been been redeveloped into a really sleek modern one. So yeah, let's, uh, let's start there and get going. All right, so let's get going. Uh, first up, let's destroy a bunch of homes. Let's see. We'll go a bit slow about it because the station I'm intending to use isn't all that big actually. Um, and maybe we should just lower this ever so slightly. I know it takes a bit of the charm out of uh, Tagfield that it isn't so hilly after this uh, little change, but uh, it's all in you know, it's all in the you know to promote progress and prosperity and stuff like that. <laughs> So, yeah, manually adjusting each house. Not the most efficient way, but it is sort of calming, I find. I love the diversity in houses we've got going here. All right, so let's see. This one should probably also just be lowered quite a bit. Yeah. It's just going to make this whole thing a little easier to work with. And I think we're going to remove these houses. I'm thinking the rail tracks will cut through here. So the houses, unfortunately, they cannot stay. Even though it's a, it's a, it was a cozy little, little area. I think this, uh, this guy can stay. Let's see. Or maybe actually there, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so I guess we'll just grab the station then. Mm, let's see what I got. I was thinking this one, it's really modern station i know but i quite like the look so we'll just place it and we'll see how it looks it looks fantastic so that's for that's fortunate uh <laughs> and then i would like to use this slim road to just connect it uh, like so and we'll use a parking road this way and i'll just make sure to a line in height, everything. It's gonna be a little too uh, wonky if I try to make it uh, too fancy with like uh, grades and slopes and stuff. So let's see. We're gonna need some parking in front of the station. So I think we'll do this and then I'll actually just grab this uh, one lane road with parking on the side. Now I know that um, some people cringe whenever I use this, especially when it's at a dead end. But I gotta say, this is this is an area where I just I prioritize form over function. To be to be quite honest, I just think it looks so nice. So yeah, sorry. All right, we've got our station placed, 
and it's already looking nice. It's a nicely detailed station as it is, so we don't have to do all that much. What I'm thinking is that if we can make these a little, these lots a little more narrow, something like, can we fit this in? I think we can. Yeah. Then uh, let's see if we can get like an, an additional high residential, high density, sorry, residential building here. I think that would be a good, a good fit for a spot like this. Should it be modern? It could be following the development of the train station. Um, this one's just too ugly. Maybe this one. Yeah, let's make a, let's remove this one as well and see if we can get the second part of the, oh, is this a part of the same complex? It looks sort of similar. So I think we'll do like this. Just stitch up these bad boys. Uh, like so. And did we have some, we did. So I'll just move this ever so slightly. And there you go. I think that's quite nice. Now let's check the realistic population. Four households. Hmm. There are four stories, but there's a Chipotle down here. So let's assume that this is commercial. So we got three stories of apartments. So now unless these apartments are really nice, then they don't take out an entire floor. Red, I think there'd be two, maybe even three apartments per floor. So that leaves us with what, 12 homes. So we'll go into our realistic population settings and add custom settings. And over here, it's the same. It also has what looks like uh, a sort of a commercial establishment. Down oh, it's this house that's messing it all up, I think. Yeah, it is. So these needs to be raised a bit much better so i think it would probably be the same here yeah let's uh, let's change that up and we say override population add custom setting there you go cool let's leave that for now and let's just uh see if we should adjust our parking ever so slightly i would like to drag it down just a little bit make some room for some nice tiling at the station. That's my plan. And this node will bring that up. We'll just make sure that these three nodes and I'm clicking control H allows me to bring it in line with the, uh, the height of uh, this one. And actually I can see I've made an error with the station. We've got uh, electrified tracks here and they're also the wrong tracks. So I'm gonna select this and despawn it and I'm gonna pick it again and then I'm gonna use this um I don't remember what the tool is called but it allows me to customize the tracks and I'm gonna pick gravel wood these ones they are not wired and that's more like it so I've been suggested to change to a different set of uh, highway uh, railway highway <laughs> Jesus uh, railway tracks um, and I'm, I might consider this I'm using this uh, set from Ronix which I find quite nice so for now it's fine oh, whoa yeah let's just adjust this before we move on with the station in just a second should be able to just align it somewhat to these nodes right I'm sorry if, if you expect the trains to already be flying in and out and what you've been seeing is just uh, me sitting here for seven minutes adjusting the height of buildings. I promise you will get to it <laughs> in just a second. <laughs> oh, there are some stuff I haven't configured here. Uh, we'll just delete this one. There you go. Okay, sorry for that there's slight detour. Let's get back to the station. We've got some parking. To do, I um, think it would look really nice with some angled parking here. 
Yes. There you go. And then we're gonna start adjusting the with the intersection marking tool. What I would like is to drag this across. Sorry. Like hit control. And over here as well. And hit control. I can drag the intersection node. There you go. So that's quite nice, I think. And I think it looks a little odd with the, these crosswalks in such a confined space. So we're just removing that as well. And we'll do like that. And we'll do like this. So we've got this theme going on in Pine Harbor where if it's a solid line, it actually means you can park. But I guess uh, I've made a little mistake here because we should we should really have a we should have it like this cool. But here we can just do a bit of detailing like so and like so. And here I think we're gonna add a little filler. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And we're gonna go with grass. Add some curbs to it and just adjust the height a bit and we're gonna make it a little more seamless there we go we've gotta add a nice tree here at some point um let's see where was we all right i'm using this concrete filler pretty often if you guys have noticed uh this one i have a couple i have this two by two and the reason i'm doing that is that if i use surface painter to try and paint pavement then as you guys can see we'll have a weird transition from the pavement to something that hasn't been surface painted and i don't want this to be surface painted so what i like to do instead to kind of create my like edges uh, of uh, of pavement is i like to use this instead so i can just click and click and i think i'm gonna do the same over here I just click and click there you go and then i can use uh, the pavement uh, the surface uh, painter sorry to just paint in here and then as you guys can see the the transition here is sharp as i would like cool let's add some bullets um, we got these red ones i can't stop using them i think they look so nice uh, not bullets sorry these are decals oh i'm clumsy today sorry <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, let's just drag out uh like so and we'll see if we can actually drag over here or if it's gonna actually encroach on the station so it's slightly encroaching maybe we could just adjust this down just a bit like so sorry oh whoa, whoa, whoa. there you go and there you go. And then we can... Uh, I, sh I uh, wish I had some smaller ones of these, but I don't. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to adjust that to there. And then we're just going to slightly adjust this. So there'll, there'll be some, I think it's called sea fighting, which is where the textures, as you guys can see, the textures fight a bit for the top dog position but the, that's just how it is and it's it's fine with me it's such a minor thing right cool next up you guys might have guessed it we're adding planters 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 always let's see we're adding we're adding some big ones here at the end i think so one of those there and one over here this might be too big. That was even bigger. We'll do like this. Yoink. And then... Oh, these ones are actually nice. They're not the ones I've selected, but <laughs> I guess we'll go with those. Like to add these for the smaller trees and... I think we'll drag along here as well. I'm you 
Uh, there you go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's uh, let's grab. Oh wait, are they gonna be sea fighting as well? With the. Uh... They are. <laughs> so I think I would prefer to not use those actually. They are nice. But uh, I'd, I'd like to use a physical prop instead of uh, instead of these. So if we remove these, we're gonna go with our initial suggestion, which are these. Quick. Can we align one here? We can. Then we start over. Perfect. We'll grab a small tree of some sort. I'm trying not to use a conifer each time I need a small tree because I'm starting to, I'm using that everywhere by now. <laughs> uh, oh, this is actually quite nice, isn't it? It's this one, hazel tree young. Okay, I think we're gonna do something here. We're just gonna remove anarchy and then every second one will be these. And the other ones will be the uh, the smaller variant of, I think it's uh, sort of the same tree. What's this one called? Hazel sapling, yes. And we're just gonna add a little bit of diversity using those. And then we're gonna grab some big boys. Ooh, this one is nice. This one is nice as well. I think we're gonna go with this one. And this one is really big though. So I should change those because this planter is bigger. So let's do that. Let's See if we can grab this tree, which is a little smaller, and add it to the smaller planter here. And we'll grab this one and add it to the big planter here. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like it. I'll be honest with you. This turned out quite all right, actually. Hmm. Let's grab our concrete and just add this house to the mix then i'm guessing i have I, I have something really small that we could add here or should it just be it should be a shit for bikes i think yeah so we're getting into the a little more nitty detailing now so have me excused for just a second and then we're gonna need a nice decal. Uh, let's, is this? Yeah, this is perfect. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Cool. Some place for their bikes. As you guys know, I love using these stains. They just like add a real touch to everything. Really low effort detailing, but lots of bang for the buck for the amount of detailing you're doing. And let's see if we just got some small bushes or even a large one we can add, these tiny ones. We'll just damage up this background a bit. Make it a little more rough to look at. And add a bit here. Cool. That's enough detail for me. Uh, one thing to be aware of, I don't know if I've told you guys before, but when you're planting trees, if you have the brush size at one, what I will often find is that it will actually place two or even more trees when I just place one with one click. And it's not noticeable, but it's gonna tank your performance in the long run because the game will have to render all of the trees you plant. Um, so set it to zero, then you're sure that when you click, you plant one tree. 
that's at least uh, at least my experience i would say all right we've got the rail station placed and i'm thinking it's looking real nice we could add a bit more in the way of trees i think so let's just do that before we start connecting it up okay so let's see if we can grab something that isn't too large this one maybe and we'll just drag it here should be easy this is not the tree i picked is it no it isn't this is So we'll just drag it out and then I'll remove it from... Is this the tree we picked? No. It looks all right. We'll keep it. We'll remove every second one actually, I think. Just a few too many. There you go. Cool. So uh, let's just detail this up just a tiny bit before we actually start connecting this up to uh, to pine harbor uh, our work should be done for us in the city because that station is uh, kind of quite detailed up i would say so yeah let's just add some completely nonsensical decals here something like this that is Perfectly wrong, I think. And we'll add some stuff here and we'll remove this one because we don't have parking here. There you go. Cool. Just some really quick intersection marking, nothing fancy. That's for sure. Let's uh, let's grab some bushes and add a bit of character to this area. Really simple. Some of the small ones as well. And I don't think we'll spend more time detailing this up. Well, what we might do is we can grab. I say so, but can we? Yes, we can. We can grab one of these and just sort of... Oh, what did I do? I don't know. It's gone. We'll do it manually. No problem. Add one of these and just... Connect this up. And we'll just do like this. That's perfect. Then if we're really cool, we'll add these... Friday. Come on, let me grab a sapling. I'm not sure if that's the prop. No, it's the actual sapling. Cool. And it's also the the planter. Perfect. There you go. High detailing, guys. That works for me, though. Um, cool. It's time to build some rails. So what we're going to do, if you guys remember from the last episode, I drew out some rail here, actually. Yoink. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go like this really smooth curve hopefully. We'll go like this and from in here we need to cross this road and then curve this ever so slightly. Actually, we're just gonna go straight like this. Oh, we're gonna need to curve it a bit, I think. That's gonna look the best. Ah, I should have disabled. Um, snapping <laughs> would probably have been a bit easier. <laughs> but what we, we should be able to do now is just create a nice, nice curve between this and this. There you go. We'll keep, let's disable this, sorry. And we'll continue this under here. So 
the while the station is relatively modern, um, the, 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 the tracks are from before the time of the highway. So I'm just dragging this through and then, you know, the highway will just have to uh, obey, I guess you could say. Um, that's fine, I think it's okay. Because we can... Where are we? Where are we? Where am I? Because we can uh, we can adjust this. Make it look nicer. There you go. Alright. I think that looks okay. -ish. Yeah. It's gonna do for now. Let us remove some trees so we know what we're working with. Now, we're gonna have to make some tunnels here for the highway. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Because this needs to be tunneled. And actually I should just check whether the tunnels from the highways that I'm actually using are nicer. These ones. So we'll see. I should upgrade this highway anyway, I mean. Let's just see. Yeah, they look much nicer. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we're gonna... Grab a tunnel segments here and lower them down like so. Let's see how that looks. <sighs> nice. And we'll do the same over here. Because yeah, the highway was built after the train tracks were built. So, and we'll just See how that looks. We can, I mean, I am. I don't care all that much about this curb being a little too narrow. Maybe that's not all that important. It should look okay from above ground. That's, I think, the most important part. And let's see. Yeah, looks pretty cool, I think. And we'll just now we're here. We might just upgrade this as well. Uh, but yeah, basically, this this highway is gonna need like a revamp. That's uh, that's obvious, because it's the uh, it's the vanilla one, and we are not using the vanilla one throughout the city. We're using this concrete highway set. I've, is it not called that? Concrete highway, yes. And I like that set. So yeah, we'll just take the basics here, and that should be fine. Now let's see, can a train pass under here? Hmm. Nah, not quite. But it needs to be able to, so we'll raise this like so, and we will think, make this a little better looking. Can we just click here to slope it? Yes, we could. Nice. Over here it's gonna be a little prettier because we got more segments to work with basically. Yes, and there you go. Cool, let's see if we, oh, yikes. <laughs> We're not quite there yet. <laughs> we get this one as well. So let's just upgrade this now that we already had it. There you go. And uh, yeah, we need to raise this obviously quite a bit. Something like that, I think. And we'll just raise that to the same level. And we'll upgrade this as well. And raise that. No, let's just see if uh, we can uh, use our tools to get out of this mess. And this one can straighten out. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, let's lower this just a tiny bit to the level here. Very nice. And what about this? Should it be lowered? It definitely should. We'll align it. Perfect. And we'll align this, if I can grab this node, to the same height. All right. <laughs> and I guess we'll align this node as well. It's funny when you work in the skies, you can barely, you know, you can barely see what's actually going on. 
like for like what's going on with the elevation. I mean, I mean, I can I can see what's going on. I, I yeah, no mind. That's looking real cool. So one idea I have is that here I think we should see that we get a bit of industry in actually. Just a bit of industry here in uh, So we'll add this like so and we'll add this old warehouse of sorts. And do we have something else that's exciting looking? This old building as well. I think we'll just do like that, yeah. Just adding a bit of character really. Let's see if we can grab we can grab our concrete here and make sure everything is fine. Cool, we'll grab you guys. Some of you know I love to use this broken fence. It's so cool. So we will of course grab that as well. Go down here, nice. And then we'll cover it up with the, these decals. Cover up all the imperfections. Or rather add the imperfections, I should say. That it now we're gonna need a DK uh, sorry a prop or two a prop or two these guys like barrels can we grab this free and copy him and maybe put them on top of the others yes we can not perfect but it's uh, it's fine for me i think there you go nice just adding a bit of strawberry here growing along the tracks cool are we ready to connect some stuff? I think so. Let's just... Um, do, 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 do. Make a passing here. There you go. Mm, but I don't want a passing here as well then. So here we'll need to make like a tunnel. And I hope tunnels are supported with this road. It, it is perfect. It actually looks really sweet, wow. I'll just make this note bigger. Oh, this segment, sorry. That looks super scary. <laughs> oh. Damn, I'm not driving down there, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, yeah. We might have to take a little look at that later, but uh, yeah, okay. Let's just add some uh, some trees. Just detailing it up a bit with trees. The, the easiest way to detail in this game. Cool. 
I mean, I think we are ready to go. Is anything missing? No. Now I guess it's time that we create a train line. Oh my god, this is more exciting than I initially thought. It's gonna be the simplest line in the history of City Skylines. But yeah, I'm just happy to make history. We're starting in Tag Field and we are creating the other station here in downtown Pine... That was wrong. I... Why is this so hard? What? Ah, it's a roulette game. No. Ah. Oh. Yes, I got it. <laughs> okay, that was weird. So really simple line. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how effective it is. Like I discussed before, Tagfield isn't really a big town. Not yet though. So, but now we've got a completed line. Let's see if we can open it up. Here we go. It runs from Tagfield to downtown. And let's see the model. I think I'm gonna use the, let's just try this uh, flood generic from Revo that I uh, that I downloaded. I don't know if I'm gonna use that for uh, like uh, the, the trains that leave the region and come in from the region, so long distance, or if I'm gonna use it here, but we'll just try, right? So let's hit play and see what actually happens. I'm looking forward to seeing a train spawn here. Come on. This is gonna, ooh, there we go. There we go. Oh, this is a fantastic model. Stradler. And we got people using it. Four per, okay. Got four people using it. That's, that's okay. <laughs> Slow beginnings, right? Wait, let's just, wait a minute. This train is way too fast. Let's adjust, we got this one. Okay, so that's probably okay. Acceleration. Hmm, I think this is, if this is what Revo, the creator of this set, I think he created it. If he didn't, I'm so sorry. But I think this is the value that Revo put in and I suppose that would be realistic then because uh, Revo knows a thing or two about trains. So maybe it is realistic. Then it's, oh, we got two trains on the same line. I really doubt that uh, <laughs> that there's enough volume of passengers to support that, but let's just go. Let's take this train into Pine Harbor. Beneath the highway here leading into the city, can we see the city from now? Mm, we can see the mountains. We can just kind of skimp the, the, the tallest buildings in the city. Um, I've gotten lots of comments uh, that you guys enjoy that there are no super high buildings in Pine Harbor and I gotta agree with you. I think we should keep it like that for a while. Ooh. Ooh, this is bad. How can this guy spawn? Didn't I disable spawning? I did. Okay, but yeah, I've had my game uh, paused for the entire build, so the game probably hasn't registered it yet. That uh, this this freight train shouldn't spawn, but anyways, that's okay. Let's just uh, let's just see when when can you get it? There you go. And it's, uh, the reason it's really slow is because, yeah, one of the nice suggestions was lowering the speed of the, the railways in town. So they lowered to about 50, what I thought was 50 miles, but it's actually 50 um, kilometers per hour, which I think is fine, but it also means this train is super slow. So yeah, let's just let them pass. Oh, this is a, this is a slender, slender boy. And oh, 
Oh, we're gonna need a screenshot of this, right? We are. This looks cool. We've got the, the passenger line and we've got the cargo line all at the same time. We've got old Grams here trying to get on board. Um, let's see, we've got the downtown in the distance. I'm sorry, I'm gonna take a few pictures. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you guys want to see a ton of pictures, I literally mean three, four, five hundred, something in that range. Then on my Patreon, I post every single picture I take of the city. And uh, I think the entry is like two dollars a month right now. And I'm considering adding like a tier below that, which is one dollar a month. And there are no differences between the tiers. It's just pictures, 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 and then I credit you at the end of each episode. Uh, so it's a really simple setup. If it, if it, it I mean, it's mostly if you want to go above and beyond in, in supporting me. Uh, you don't have to feel obligated to do that in any sort of way. Uh, and it's just pictures, basically. Uh, but yeah, uh, check out the Patreon if you're interested. So. Two trains on this one line is perhaps a little much. I'm, I mean, it, it looks cool, and we got another cargo train coming in. I mean, this is just picture insanity. If you're a train guy, you gotta love this. And maybe I'm becoming a train guy. And by the way, there must be train women out there as well. It'll be trained everything. This is so cool. Okay, so with all that said and done, let's see what the actual usage is, right? Because passenger service last week, zero. Um, I guess we're gonna have to <coughs> sorry we're gonna have to speed this up a bit <coughs> Jesus Christ so currently we are I'm just speeding up the game and I'm losing population like mad so there are probably some issues in the city that I need to address soon but let's just have a look traffic is virtually unchanged, maybe slightly better. Mm, interesting. <laughs> Let's see how many are actually using it. 21 passengers weekly are uh, 25. Okay, so it's, it's slowly rising, but I mean, I don't think we should have two vehicles. I think I'm gonna 44. That's not bad. I think I'm gonna reduce this to one vehicle. There you go. So it's gonna, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna work better, I think. All right. Well, uh, I think this was a really, really nice addition to our city. Uh, I promise you guys, this is not the first. Uh, sorry, this this is the first. It's definitely the first regional rail. <laughs> In Coniferia, it's not the last regional rail in Coniferia. We're gonna add more. I've also been get, getting a ton of questions about a bus network, and yes, we are gonna implement a really nice bus network soon. Uh, TM soon ish, at least. The city desperately needs it. We are way too car dependent, and traffic is actually starting to clog up as a result. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna add that. Um, what else is there to say if you stuck with me for this long? Thank you so much for watching and the support. I know I sound like a broken record when I say this every few episodes, but I am so happy with the welcome I've been giving back to YouTube. It feels amazing. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, like I said, if you want to participate in votes and don't want to miss out, subscribe, enable notifications, and you will have a say in every vote there is and much of what we do in the city. Um, and yeah, the vote for this park is still ongoing uh, on the community page. Um, so yeah, what else is there to say? There, uh, there's all the YouTube lingo. If you like my content, then um, feel free to like, uh, subscribe and uh, write a comment. It really helps uh, the channel grow. And I have an interest in that because the, the bigger the community gets, uh, you know, the more feedback I get, the more comments we get, the 
better discussions we get on each vote and the more votes we get so it's we get a better picture of what what people actually want and how the city council is uh, is growing and what the city council wants so yeah enough of my rambling thank you guys so much for watching uh, have a really nice day or evening or where whatever it is where you are yeah bye